Okay, you, you know, Mr. Burton, that was that was pretty good. Well, well you finally like an instrument yeah, you know, that I play? That was pretty amazing. You know, uh, let's try it again. Um, but this time... Well, this is my new instrument. It's called a... Well, it's, it's the cowbell. Yeah, I know. And uh, let's try it again. But I think this time I could I, I, I could use a little more cowbell. You want more cowbell? I, I think a little more cowbell ought to do it. You know, and I, just really explore the studio space this time. Just get out there and, Whoa, and, and do man, your cowbell I'm thing. All, all right, that. let's try this again. All, all right, right, all right. You're going to want a little more cowbell on that track. Okay? I got to have more cowbell. Got more cowbell. All right. All right. Beautiful. Oh, I know. You know, that not too many cool. songs feature the cowbell. You know, that's true. They, they don't a you lot know, of I them. I would probably be doing a disservice for every member of the cowbell land yeah. people because, you know, if you got a job where the cowbell is featured, then you, you should like play. You got to do it. You got to do it. That's nice. That's great. That is really good. Yeah, like that's it. nice. I like it a lot. I, you know, I, I you might want to stick with the cowbell. So maybe I should give up my day job. It, it's entirely possible. Chemistry may not be the maybe, thing for you. Maybe. Cowbell playing. Cowbell playing. To the songs by the Blue Oyster Cult, maybe you're calling. The cowbell. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, the Blue Oyster Cult, you know, they're kind of like a group. I was like um, alive and like old enough to know who they were. Yeah, and so I heard them on the classic radio stations. That's amazing. <laughs> that so, was nice. I, uh, very good. Yeah, today we want to talk about how to predict redox reactions. Mm. Oh, my. Yeah, this is one of those hard ones. Yes, indeed. And so uh, we should probably do that right now. Yep. All right. So yeah. um, if you turn um, in your packet, um, right now it's page 17, but it might look on different pages. So let's not oversync this here because yep. the ch pages could change over the years. But right now it's on page 17. Um, Essentially, we have simple oxidation redux. The abbreviation, by the way, is called redox reaction. It stands for oxidation reduction. And uh, this single displacement reaction, or we call hydrogen displacement, you see the calcium is going to uh, jump into the water, and it, it, uh, and it kicks out the hydrogen. It's actually better mm -hmm. to think of the water as HOH here. And as that works out, the H, the CA gets with the OH. The key thing I understand in terms of this being a react reaction is the calcium has a charge of zero, and here is a charge of plus two. So that charge is going up, yep. you know, the up down thing. And the hydrogen is a plus one, and he's dropping down to zero. The oxygen is staying from negative two and negative two, so there's no change. Remember that one up and one down. You see, the trick on this thing, guys, is that you're looking for one chemical to go up in charge, oxidation. And one chemical to go down in charge, reduction. Right, so one to get more positive, one to get more negative. And so these examples um, are examples you've probably seen. This right here is an example of a, another uh, single replacement reaction. Mm -hmm. You've heard those before. The zinc is replacing here the copper in the reaction, and that's what occurs. Now, we had this thing called the activity series last year, but the ah, good yes. news in AP Chem land is that we don't need to get too worried about that because if they give you a reaction, it always occurs. Yep. So the idea of no reaction, you don't need to worry about that because at least for what we're training you for, for a particular question on the exam, there is no, no reactions, so you don't have to worry about that. Halogen displacement, this is one you may not have seen, but the chlorine, which has a zero charge, can become a chloride with a negative one charge, and then we have the bromine with a negative one charge going to the brom bromide, pardon me, going mm -hmm. to the bromine with a zero charge. This should probably be over here. Yeah, and one thing you also might want to oh, point out, issues. Mr. Bergman, is that uh, with the KBR and the KCL, since those are aqueous solutions, yeah. Um, on the AP test, again, if things dissociate in water, we have to split them up and cancel any spectator yeah. ions. And they always want the net ionic equation. Yeah, this would be Cl2 plus K positive plus Br minus goes to K positive plus Cl minus. And I'm not balancing it here, folks. We'll make sure we do if we do the end. We just want to show you the different options. Yeah, and then the Ks would cancel in that case. The yeah, the Ks would probably ions. cancel, um, and we'd worry about that later. Yep. We'll do some examples, but just want to show you some examples. Right. And there's the dysportionation reaction. If you recall, we did an example like that. I think that was the exact process. same problem, if I'm not mistaken. the exact same reaction where the chlorine is going to the hypochlorite, and it's going to the chloride, so it's going both up and down, oxidizing and reducing. Yep. So we just want to highlight those. The important stuff you'll Man, see here. A lot of these are wrapping around. Our, our, our text kind of got jumbled in our Yeah, I don't know what happened here. I, I must it's have changed weird. fonts a little bit. It must have messed everything yeah, up. Yeah, sorry but about again, that. Again, this is um, oxyan. Um, actually, let's just jump to this screen. This is the key screen to understand. Yep, this one and the next screen. The, yeah, the next two screens. It's probably all on one page for you guys. Yeah, yep, this is... Page 18 if you're current This year. is something I, I must hate to tell you, but <sighs> you must be... Memorized. Memorized. 
is. Yep. Because you're going to have a point where I'm going to say this plus this makes what? And when I do that, that means that if you have an oxidation reduction reaction, you must memorize that permanganate in an acidic solution turns into MN2 positive. I recommend that you put these on note cards. Yes. I don't know how else you're going to memorize this. Yep. And then permanganate in a basic solution turns into manganese dioxide. Yeah. And then manganese dioxide in an acidic solution turns into MN2 positive, and etc. Dichromate does something. Chromate, nitric acid. Actually, here's an important point here. We remember said that we said nitric acid or nitrates hardly do ever do anything. That is correct, except in this instance, nitric acid will often turn into nitrogen dioxide or nitrogen monoxide, depending on whether the solution is dilute or concentrated. And then we have other things. Metallic. We should actually talk about when I say what well, metallic. What does that mean, Mr. Sams? Um, metallic ions are ions that come from a metal. But how does so. that relate to metallus? Oh, metallus. Sorry, I didn't see that. Okay, metallic is going to be a transition metal that has the highest charge, so like iron 3. And then metallus would be the one with the lower charge. So in the case of iron, would be plus 2. Another example might be C10, positive 4. Mm -hmm. And it goes to 10, positive 2. Right. And so at some point, um, uh, people in chemistry land, you need to have memorized the common charges yeah. of these metals. Um, our students memorized it on the memory table. And then the free halogens, what's that mean, a free halogen? Uh, free halogen is just going to be like Cl2 or I2 or Br2. Those are the ones and you're going to encounter. And change the halide, so that turns into chloride, right, chloride or iodide. Right. Or bromide and bro bromine and bro bromide. It, uh, and this is sodium peroxide. It can turn into hydroxide. Yep. And then hydrogen peroxide can turn into oxygen. Now, notice that these are important oxidizers. So these are things that reduce. And if they reduce, they are things whose charges go down. Conversely, we can look. So this is a, actually, let me do something else on that table. I would say on this table, this is the down table, the table where the charges go down. Right. And then the second table that you have. This is the up there, table. This is the up table. And then halides can become halogens. Yes. Free metals can, can become metal ions. A free metal would just like be iron. Right. And then it become a metal ion like Fe plus 2. One Those thing you'll notice that doesn't show up on this chart is you don't have uh, these uh, metal ions becoming free metals if they're transition metals. That's they're generally very rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very rare. Metallus. So like say um, copper plus 1 can become copper plus 2. This is the cuprous atom, mm -hmm. since, hence the Us. OUS, and the metallic atom, or the cupric atom is how that is. Sulfite, watch this one, can become sulfate. And then, now here's a tricky one. We have halogens in both of them, but if mm -hmm. you have a free halogen, and if it's a dilute basic solution, or a concentrated basic solution, it can become the hypohalite ion, yeah. or the halate ion. So this means in this particular example that the C... L2 can turn into the ClO negative right. if it's a basic solution and it's dilute. Right, so or chlorine goes to hypochlorite. That's the hypohalite. It's the chlor is the prefix we're using. Yes, there. the chlor, yes, exactly. And if it's concentrated, it will become the chlor 8 ion, which mm -hmm. is ClO3 negative. Okay, so these things need to be memorized. There is just no yeah. better way Mr. to do Mr. Bergman, this. I actually see an error on our slide there. It's, a, it's, it's correct on the handouts, but instead of CRO4, CR2O4, that should be C2O4 if we're making carbon dioxide. Oh, yeah. So that should be just carbon, not chromium. There you go. A little typo. That is oxalate turning into carbon dioxide. Good call. The handout's correct, and the podcast is wrong. So we're going to just walk through some examples like this, and then you're just going to have to do them... A lot. Okay, so if I have solid copper, all right, solid copper, so that means that Cu with no charge is added to dilute nitric acid. So I'm going to say nitric acid, now I'd still, because nitric acid is a, a strong so acid, I must dissociate it. Right, dissociate it either side of the equation. AP test, people want it dissociated. And now I need to figure out what it's going to turn into. Now here's, I know it's going to be a redox reaction since this is a redox reaction podcast. Mm. But um, also if you see a pure element, it's got to change its charge. Yes. And so here's a charge of zero, so it must now go to a higher charge. Now yes. there are two charges that copper can attain, mm -hmm. one and two, and copper one or copper two. Yes. Frankly, they don't really care what you do, but um, copper typically likes to go to the two charge. Yes. So this will be Cu2 positive. So now we've defined who is going to go up. 
Now we need to find somebody to go down. Now this is a little tricky because the hydrogen right here is positive one, and he could drop to hydrogen gas, which is a zero charge. Could. But this is a dilute nitric acid. And that's one on our on our down list. And if we go back to the down list, if we have dilute nitric acid right here, mm -hmm. it turns into in nitrogen o. monoxide, or NO. So the other product is NO. And that is kind of your skeleton reaction. Right. Um, but it's not balanced. No, because they remember in the last... The the equations. Can you please come to and so yeah. when they balance the reactions, of course, it's the half reaction. Yes, phase. just like we learned in the last podcast, balancing the half reaction I'm going to try and do these relatively quickly. Yeah, we're not going to just talk through every single step. The nitrate is turning into nitrogen monoxide. So now I'm going to have to say two waters on this side because I need to balance my O's. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to put four hydrogens on this side to balance my H's. Oh, and I yeah, did the electrons. Um, the charge, I need to do three. Three. I'll need three electrons on this side. This needs to be multiplied by three. This by two because the uh, lowest common multiple is six electrons. Mm -hmm. I change colors here. So that's three, three, six. Six. Eight. Eight, two, two, two and four. four. So when I bring everything down, the electrons cancel. I'll have three coppers plus eight hydrogens plus two nitrates makes three Cu2 positive plus two nitrogen monoxides and four water. There you go. So that's those are these problems. I'm afraid are long and cumbersome. All right, a solution of potassium permanganate. All right, solution. When you see the word solution, what do you do, Mr. Sam? Dissociate. And besides, it is a potassium compound. Yep. And all, it's a necal, no so, so it's a NAT. It's always soluble. So I'm going to write K positive plus permanganate. Now, permanganate um, has a couple of rules. If you ever see permanganate, in fact, um, you should think that it's a... Redox. Redox. Uh, almost always, yeah. And it's mixed with a so, an alkaline, we'll talk about that in a minute, solution of sodium sulfite. Sodium, of course, is a NAB by de definition. So that's sodium and then sulfite, SO3 to minus. And an alkaline solution, what does that word mean, Mr. Alkaline, alkaline means it's a basic solution. So not an acidic solution, so we're going to have to balance this using the base balancing right. rules. So we have something to go up and down. Mm. Well, we've got permanganate, so if we go back to our chart, permanganate in a basic solution, here is basic solution mm -hmm. permanganate, it goes to MnO2. So this goes to MnO2. Plus, now we have to look for something. Yes. That's a down. On the up list, this sulfite. This is a down. Yep. Now, potassium has a positive one charge. For it to go up, it would go to positive two or positive three. You ever heard of potassium positive two? No, never. I haven't either. And the same thing with the sodium. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So the sulfite, though. Sulfite, that's on our up list. It can it's make sulfate. on the up list. Eight. So if we look at the, oops, that's not the up list. If we look at the up list, we have sulfite and sulfate somewhere. Here they are. Sulfite can turn into sulfate. These are going to be eventually memorized by mm -hmm. you, but we don't expect you to do that. So the other object is sulfate. So this is like your skeleton reaction. The potassium and the sodium will drop off. So I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to say MnO4 negative plus SO3, 2 negative, is going to turn into SO4, 2 negative, plus MnO2. Now what you would need to do is balance them. I'm just going to set these up. I'm not going to do this. So the sulfite turns into sulfate. And then you need to balance this using basic rules. Yes. So any of the hydrogen ions, again, you have to cancel those out with hydroxide ions on both sides of the equation. And this would be the skeleton or the beginning of the uh, permanganate to manganese mm -hmm. dioxide. I'm not going to write out the whole thing because so it would take too much time. And we learned how to do that last time. And we learned how to do this in a previous podcast. So you're, you would then uh, do all the uh, balancing stuff on both sides and solve the problem. But the hard part is getting it all to... Um, knowing what the products right. are. Once that you do that, the procedure is relatively easy. Right. Now, ethanol is completely burned. When you see burned, burned this is actually an old type of reaction we used to call a... Combustion reaction. Combustion reaction. Now, combustion reactions are easy. They happen to be oxidation reduction mm -hmm. reactions. They're very simple. These are the Cha or the Cho reactions. When you react them with oxygen, when they burn something in air, you're always reacting with oxygen. It always turns in the exact same two products. CO2? And H2O every single time. Now, the beauty of this particular reaction on the AP.